Wilson Morales from Black Film and TV. Hello, folks. You know, as I watch these episodes, and I've had, I've been in a position where I've cat sitted, and you know, the cat does his thing. You play with him, you get annoyed at him. You know, <laughs> so I can relate with Doug days in some areas. You know, kid, talk to me about producing this series of shorts that you know would make people relate for those who have animals. <laughs> Well, I think it's pretty universal. You know, we have a family dog. Um, we, uh, she's small, she's 20 pounds, she's tiny, tiny, but uh, she's a girl. But to me, I see so much of Doug in what she does. So um, I think that just sort of that dog truth permeates no matter what your pet may be. I mean, we had people on our crew that had multiple cats and they still related so much. So I think everyone brought um, their love of their pets to their work. And I think it's apparent in what we see on the screen. For you, Bob, obviously when you put together this story directing wise, what are you getting out of it that you can take on to your next project? Uh, well, first of all, just uh, the ability to work during the pandemic, just the logistics of that uh, I'm going to take on because that was done mostly at home. And now we've gotten pretty good at doing that. Um, I think it's uh, a lot of it is make sure that I look at the things in my life, like my relationships with my dogs, my relationships with my grandfather you know, and, uh, and that sort of thing and bring them into the work. And so uh, it's a good reminder of that uh, for the next project. Now, there's three episodes. Is there a common theme you guys are looking to create per episode, you know, that stands as, as one theme or it's, is it just different stories all the way? Actually, there's five. There's two maybe that you need to check out. There's five episodes and okay. each of them, we sort of wrote, what would be fun? What would be fun? But then as we got into it, we realized, okay, well, wait a minute, this is the theme of territoriality for a dog, or this is a, a kind of a theme of how do you get a dog through its own fears, or this is one about superpower smell. And so as we started writing them, we realized each kind of broke down into a different facet of a dog's life. Mm -hmm. And Kim, as a producer, you know, are you watching Doug? It's when you know you have a short and it's gotta be like eight minutes, seven minutes, six minutes, and you don't wanna go overboard, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, what's the challenge to say you got to cut it down and edit? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I just tell Bob, you have got to cut it down and edit. No, um, <laughs> the whole job of producing of anyone in production management, um, especially at Pixar, is we find creative ways to honor the creative. And, you know, my whole job is to figure out how to enable the storytelling to be the best it can be, however long it's going to be and um, find ways that keep everyone working and not too stressed, um, but also hitting our creative goals. And of course, making our esteemed director uh, the happiest he can possibly be. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better to have Ed Asner as the voice, you know, so you, you know, for a lot of folks who are a little old enough, they who know they who he is, that's a thrill to watch him, you know, back on the screen in this form. So it's definitely good to watch in the series. I'm definitely gonna have to check out the next two, you know, keep it going. I'm looking forward to see what your next projects are and uh, wherever you are, stay safe. All right, you too. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Nice meeting you. Take care. All right.